I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? It is such a great joy to invite you all to watch this exceptional East documentary. They will bring us a significant message of the real fruit of Jesus' love for us in the power of the resurrection. Many of our sisters and brothers in Huana Church and Glory House Music have prepared this documentary with selfless commitment and vision that will transform one's life by watching this film. Throughout the journey of Jesus Christ in his life, ministry, crucifixion, and resurrection, we have received this amazing and unconditional love, and his love will continue to lead us into eternal life. Hope you are all ready to respond to his love as Jesus asks, Do you love me? Suffering like a lamb came the Messiah. 
he did it because he loves us and he did it for our sins to be gone. He went through lots of pain and suffering for us. It kind of reminds me who I am and my identity. 그 십자가 사건은 저에게 있어서 죄를 확인시켜 주는 사건인 것 같아요. Reminds me that Jesus died for me. 그렇게 제 죄를 어, 그렇게 피값으로 사지 않았다 그러면 지금 제가 이 세상에 이렇게 있을 수 없기 때문에. Uh, what my role is because I realized that oh Jesus died for me. Um, took our punishment and offered up His righteousness. 그 많은 죄들을 하나님께서 주, 특별히 예수님께서 십자가에 대속함으로써 그렇게 죄를 사해 주신 거기 때문에 For us to start a new life Who was worthless and did he have the life that God gave me?
Resurrection of Jesus means... It shows me that not just Jesus loves me, but He has Almighty and He's really powerful. Victory, because He overcame death, which gives me the strength that I know that I can overcome anything. It means new hope, uh, victory. That he can overcome anything we can't overcome. Um, not just only him, but he gave us the victory too. Hello Church, my name is Deborah Kim and I'm a composer from the Gloria House Music. My sister Lois and I'm going to share the next song called His Reason and this is a song I wrote to celebrate Easter together. Um, this song is based on Mary who first saw the empty tomb of Jesus and it captures the joy, the excitement and fear of seeing the miracle of God and the song depicts Mary running down the hill and knocking on the door of the disciples um, to share the news of resurrection and um, it ends with the ascension of Jesus. It is my privilege to share my songs uh, with One Heart Church community on this very special day. Happy Easter and may God bless you all. Breaks upon his desert too
Hi, my name is Blair and today it's my pleasure to be able to share uh, very briefly my testimony with you. I don't have too much time but I hope I can give you uh, enough to be able to show you how Jesus and the Gospel changes my life. Um, I think I'm the same as many people in the culture and world that we live in where we have a lot of concerns and anxieties and emotional and mental burdens that there are so many things that we're trying to keep track of, so many responsibilities and uh, burdens that we try to confront every day, and I'm certainly no exception. Um, one of the great freedoms that the Gospel gives to all of us, uh, and to me and to everyone, is the freedom to be released from this constant fear and anxiety and stress and concern. That doesn't mean that we don't confront those things and it doesn't mean that I am no longer having to confront those things. Uh, like everyone, I have my things that I am working on, that I need to follow up on, that I need to apply my efforts towards. Um, but the great thing about the Gospel is that at the end of the day, when, we, when I can put down my head on my pillow and go to rest, I can say to God, God, I've done my best for today with what I've been given, with the efforts I have, with all that I am, uh, including all my limitations and flaws. And the rest I can say to God, I commit this to you. I commit these things to you knowing that you will look after me, you will look after the world and you have a plan for the world and nothing in this world happens uh, without you having ordained it to be so. Uh, one of the greatest learnings uh, to me from the Gospel that gives me this assurance at the end of the day is the book of Matthew chapter 6 what Jesus preaches about worrying and he says um, do not do not worry about tomorrow don't be anxious about tomorrow uh, because tomorrow will be anxious for itself each day has enough troubles of its own it's not something that I necessarily preach, uh, uh, that I necessarily practice perfectly, um, but it's something that at the end of the day I can put my confidence in that. Um, all of us do still have everything that we're working on, all of us do still have uh, sometimes things that we're really concerned about, and especially in this period of coronavirus and lockdowns and economic turmoil in 2020. I think that's more, more true than ever, but it's during this time when I've been able to reflect on what the Gospel means for me, I think that is the most important thing. That we can entrust to God not just today and tomorrow and the day after, but all the days to come, knowing that He has an eternal plan for those of us who call ourselves His children. Happy Easter everyone! Thanks so much for joining us for this special One Heart Easter project. And then I'd like to share this word of greetings from 1 Peter chapter 1 first. Um, it says in verse 3, Praise be to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. As we have seen this last scene of the film, The Passion of the Christ, which gives us this very hopeful beginning in our faith journey. And the message of Easter is all about celebrating and remembering what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross. And with the power of the resurrection, our Lord Jesus Christ is risen again by overcoming the power of death. And today, we just want to give our attention to this amazing story when Jesus has appeared himself to his disciples and followers. And in the book of Gospel of John, chapter 21, 
This is what he says. Verse 15, he says, When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you, Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. I just want us to imagine and picture this moment when Jesus came back to his disciples. After most of the disciples have gone away, have ran away from Jesus, and once he has resurrected, he started chasing his disciples and started revealing himself to all those failed followers. And this powerful question, do you love me, is now in the presence amongst of all those disciples and Jesus himself. And then if you want to imagine that when Peter decided to come back and join this group of disciples, Peter could not approach to Jesus and express his genuine friendship and intimacy anymore as he is the one who denied and betrayed Jesus during this tough time of crucifixion. And now Jesus saw Peter who made himself being isolated, being marginalized, being staying on the corner rather than at the center like what he used to do with Jesus. And he approached to Simon Peter and asked this question, instead of sharing the word of judgment or criticism, if I was in a position of Jesus Christ, I would probably go to Peter and just grab him and, and express my anger and disappointment and say, how there you did it? How, how could you betray me? How could you uh, forsake me? How could you run away from me? But instead, what Jesus has asked was not about how could you do it? But he asked Simon Peter this very interesting question. Do you love me? Do you love me? Peter must be very uncomfortable. And this is not something we can easily imagine when we did something wrong. In the relationship between husband and wife, parents and children, between friends, you will probably be very uncomfortable to be with them in the same place. And, and now, Peter, after he experienced this deepest failure, and he is now with Jesus in the same place, and he would be very uncomfortable. He, he probably wanted to uh, hide himself somewhere. But now, Jesus approached to Simon Peter and asked this question, do you love me? Peter was like, Oh my goodness, how could you ask me that question? And Peter replied that, yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. But he used different words for the love, for the word love here. When Jesus asked with, with the word agape love, unconditional love, love of God, then Peter has responded word phileo, which is love between friends conditional love which is not perfect which is not unconditional and Jesus asked the same question and Peter answered with the same word and this interesting conversation drives our attention to the purpose of Jesus why he is asking this question to Simon Peter the purpose in this question is not about criticizing or judgmental but the purpose in this question from Jesus was all about reviving his beloved 
disciple Simon Peter. Jesus deeply understood that my loving disciple Simon Peter is now going through a very difficult time with his own sense of guilt, shamefulness, disappointment, and discouragement. And Jesus now revealed himself to Simon Peter and gave him another mission, gave him another mission with his confirmed love towards Simon Peter. Jesus wanted to remind Simon Peter that this, this love, what you have received from me, is agape love. This love you have experienced while you are staying with me is unconditional love, perfect love that I have poured out upon you. There is no way we can leave out this agape love as wicked human beings. And yet, Jesus always reveals himself to us with this question that reminds us that we are the people of God who freely received this unconditional love from God through the life, through the crucifixion, and through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then regardless of where we are right now, if you are the one who are going through this tough time of isolation, Jesus will come into our lives. Jesus will approach to you and me to give us this reminder with the question, do you love me? Do you love me? And Jesus wants us to be revived with this sense of vocation and mission that we are called to be sent out to the end of the earth as witnesses of this gospel, of this good news. And Jesus reminds and told Simon Peter, for the answer that you love me, even though that answer with the word love is not agape and we, is not perfect, but the way that you can fulfill and share this love of agape is feeding and sharing and taking care of people who are loved by our Father God, who are loved by our Lord Jesus Christ. And friends, this powerful story of the conversation between Jesus and Simon Peter reminds us and calls us to commit ourselves to the place where we can share this love of Jesus with other people. Jesus wants us to be sent out. Jesus wants us to be reminded that when He has shared His greatest commission, that go and make disciples of all nations, of all nations. Go as my witnesses to the end of the world. And this sense of mission, this sense of duty gives us this refreshment. Even though we are all going through this journey with sense of failures, disappointment and discouragement, whenever we look at the cross and seeing the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, it always gives a sense of guilt in a way of comparing this love of Jesus and our love towards Jesus Christ. And now, Jesus steps into our lives, revealed himself, and gives us this mission, recommissioning us to be sent out as missionaries to each different places. It could be your homes, it could be your family context, it could be your school context, it could be your local communities, it could be our nation, Australia, it could be the whole world that Jesus wants us to be sent out as a missionaries, as a messengers of this good news. Friends, later on, as Simon Peter, when he was refreshed, 
when he was revived, when he has confirmed that, yes, Lord, I will continue to follow these footprints of your love. That's what he has declared in his confession. As we have looked in the beginning of this message, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 6, he says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, through now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. Friends, this is the confession from this failed man, Simon Peter. Once he was refreshed and revived with this concept of agape love that is given to us for the mission of God, Missio Dei, sending of God. And it gives us this new living hope in our daily journey as the children of God. Even though we are all going through suffering and time of trials in each different places, this power of resurrection cannot fail us in our journey of mission. This living hope is now in us, in you and me. And I truly believe that this power of resurrection will encourage us and strengthen us to redefine who we are in the eyes of God. We are no longer under the power of sin, but we are now moving forward as a people of God with this living hope from the power of resurrection in us. So in our journey together as a missional community, I hope that we all feel and enjoy and receive this new living hope from the power of the resurrection today. Then I hope that we all can see ourselves to be part of this missional journey with one another. Then I would love to ask God and Holy Spirit to bless you and me to hold our hands together and be united as a body of Jesus Christ that keep moves forward to the end of the earth. So sisters and brothers in Christ, today let us all rejoice this message of Easter. Let us all declare, yes I do for the question, do you love me from our Lord Jesus Christ? And let us all remember that Jesus came to us and reminds us that love one another as I loved you. And this love is all about going and approaching and being sent out as an individual missionaries, as a missional community to continue to reach with this good news of living hope that our Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father God, we thank you so much for the message of living hope from the power of resurrection today. And Lord, we thank you so much for this new identity as missionaries and messengers of the gospel. And Lord, please continue to encourage us and strengthen us as we are going to be sent out to all our communities and families and to the world. Please continue to bless us and guide us and lead us as we will commit ourselves for this 
missional journey together with one another. In Jesus' name, we all pray. Amen. ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知ですか。ご存知
규모 7.3대 지진의 위력 앞에 도시는 무력했습니다. 8천여 채가 넘는 집이 파괴되면서 6,300여 명이 목숨을 잃었고 우리 교민 150여 명도 희생됐습니다. 고베시는 울음바다가 됐습니다. 네, 고베시 시민들은 물한 방울 제대로 마실 수가 없습니다. 도로에 고인 물마저 중요한 식수가 되고 있는 그런 지경입니다. 하나님께서 그 지진을 통해서 정말 눈물을 우리 그 팀원 전부에게 주셨어요. 하나님이 일본 땅을 바라보시면서 마치 아픈 자녀를 바라보면서 눈물을 흘리는 그 아비의, 아비의 마음으로 우리에게 눈물을 주시지 않았는가 그런 생각을 하게 되었습니다. 그래서 한번 가고 두번 가고 이렇게 하다 보니까 저희가 이렇게 선교사의 길로 가게 됐고 또그 가운데서 저희 둘이 이렇게 만나서 또 결혼을 하고 이제 선교사로 헌신하게 됐습니다. 그 전에 그 선배 선교사님께서 선교는 삶이다 라고 이렇게 강의 중에 말씀하셨던 것이 기억이 납니다. 저희도 7년 정도 일본에서 이렇게 선교사역을 했는데 정말 그 짧은 그한 문장이 정말 맞는 말이구나 선교를 잘 표현한 말이구나 라고 우리가 생각할 수 있겠다고 생각해요. 왜냐하면 저희가 2011년에 일본에 큰 쓰나미가 일어나고 원자력 발전소가 폭발하고 방사능이 유출되고 하는데 그런 사건이 있었거든요. It is still going. Oh my god, the building's gonna fall. 그때가 저희가 2009년에 일본에 선교사로 가고 이제 2년이 지난 그 해였 어, 그때였습니다. 그런데 하나님께서 모두가 그것을 탈출하고 또 피난을 가고 하는 그런 상황 가운데서 하나님께서 저희 가정 가운데 어, 특별하게 그들 영혼들과 함께 할수 있는 그런 마음을 주시고 또 평안함도 주시고 담대함도 주셔서 저희가 그곳을 떠나지 아니하고 저희가 섬기던 일본 교회와 일본 사람들과 함께. 아, 그 땅에서 있었습니다. 그리고 나서부터 어, 정말 어, 그 어려움을 같이 하면서 어, 우리 저희 가정에 통하여 하나님께서 많은 선교 일들을 일으키신 것을 우리가 경험했거든요. 선교는 그러니까 주님께서 주신 그 사랑의 마음을 가지고 특별히 어, 한 민족을 향하여서 나아가는 것입니다. 그리고 그곳에 가서 그들과 함께 예배하면서. 또 하나님의 사랑을 그들과 전하면서 삶으로 그들에게 나타내면서 그들과 함께 살아가는 것 이것이 성교가 아닌가 저희는 그 경험을 통해서 이렇게 느끼고 있고 이것이 저희 가정의 정의가 아닐까 저는 생각해 봅니다. 선교라고 하는 것은 하나님이 하시는 일들을 볼수 있다라는 것 같아요. 그래서 하나님이 하시는 일들을 볼수 있도록 하나님이 하시고자 하시는 그 일들의 터전에 우리가 믿음으로 한 발을 내딜 때. 하나님이 역사하시는 것이 나타나도록 있는 것이 선교가 아닌가 이런 생각이 듭니다. 그래서 우리 안에 살아계신 하나님의 능력을 체험하고 경험했던 이 놀라운 은혜를 또 그것을 경험하지 못한 사람들에게 그저 전해주는 것 그것이 바로 선교라고 생각합니다. 엄마 아빠의 선교 사역을 동참하는 가운데서 참 기적적인 일을 항상 겪고 있는데 어, 이것은 어, 하나님이 어, 성교사인 우리를 돌보시고 또그 사랑을 우리가 느껴서 어, 성교지에서 사람들에게 그 사랑을 또 전해주라고 하시는 것 같습니다. 우리가 성교를 하고 하나님이 원하시는 일을 할때 하나님은 꼭 우리를 도와주시고 서포트해 주신다고 믿습니다. 호주에 왔을 때또 하나님께서 만나게 한 우리 원하트 교회 성도님들 비록 작은 교회를 할지라도 아주 큰 비전을 갖고 있음을 보고 굉장히 기대가 컸습니다. 아, 여러분들이 좀 어려울 수도 있고 힘들 수도 있고 고될 수도 있지만 이 선교 사역을 감당하면 그 어느 누구도 받지 못했던 자유와 평안과 또 기쁨, 생명을 느낄 수 있을 겁니다. 하나님께서는 그큰 선물을 우리에게 주시기 위해서 선교라는 사명을 주신 것 같습니다. 우리가 모두 힘을 합하여 하나님의 소원이신 열방에 복음을 전하는 일에 협력하여 가면 
그, 그거야말로 정말 행복한 일일 것 같습니다. 함께 가기를 축복하며 여러분들을 어, 격려하고 싶습니다. 제가 아는 존경하는 선교사님이 한분 계신데요. 그분이 이런 말을 했습니다. 이런 노래를 지었는데 심장이 뛴다 라는 가사 내용에 그 하나님의 사역을 하면서 정말 심장이 뛰는 그 당신의 마음을 가사로 담은 그런 찬양인데요. 저희가 일본 선교를 하면서 제가 처음 일본 땅에서 가서 또 선교사가 되기 위해서 훈련하면서 그리고 그 땅에서 선교사로 살아가면서 정말 늘 가슴 속에 남는 것은 우리의 심장이 뛴다는 것입니다. 정말 역동성 있고 아 내가 정말 살아있구나 라고 하는 그런 감동이 늘 우리 가운데 어, 있었다는 것입니다. 제가 호주에 와서 제 가정이 특별히 레이스 목사님과 우리 원하트 교회를 만나면서 정말 그런 심장이 뛰는 그런 감동들이 어, 저희의 어, 최근에 저희의 어, 모습이 되고 있습니다. 그래서 어, 계속해서 여러분들과 함께 이 하나님의 살아계신 이 역사를 체험하면서 선교를 통해서 특별히 이런 같이 심장이 뛰는 정말 우리가 살아있음을 그리스도인으로 살아있음을 느끼면서 이렇게 함께 달려가셨으면 좋겠다는 생각이 듭니다. 사랑합니다. 축복합니다. <웃음>
evening, some dark and cold, there is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, makes his home. Carry your candle, run to the helpless, confused and torn. Hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle, go light your world. Take your candle, go light your하나님이 세우시고 하나님의 능력이 함께하는 그런 교회라고 믿습니다. It's a community with full of love and compassion 
저의 삶의 공동체입니다. Spice to learn about Jesus and just to feel safe around there. 다음 주를 준비할 수 있고 지난 주를 다시 이렇게 돌이켜 볼수 있고 하는 시간이 작은 교회지만 사랑이 풍성하고 교제 가운데 즐거운 교회. Trying to build good connection, good relationships. 근데 이 마음들이 모아지니까 큰 마음으로 나타난 것을 볼수 있었고 앞으로도 크게 일어날 것으로 믿어 의심치가 않습니다. The place where we can all have fellowship together. 하나님 앞에 더욱 더 첫사랑을 다시 회복할 수 있는 좋은 기회가 된것 같아서 우리 성도분들 너무나 귀하게 생각하고 있습니다. It's been very forceful journey together as one heart has been to many um, different places for our cross-cultural mission. In the beginning of our journey, we decided to commit ourselves for three layers of different mission field. One is our local mission, and um, the other one is national level, and the third one is international level. And One Heart has been serving uh, many people in our local with different um, events such as Life to the Max, Jesus All About Life, and um, this ministry for homeless people, and in simple ways that we can continue to reach and bless our neighbors in our society. And we still value that our um, Aboriginal sisters and brothers as our mission for our national level. It has been such a great honor and privilege for us to work with AEF, Aboriginal Evangelical Fellowship. And then last December and January, we, uh, we have had our fourth, which is eighth year of our mission trip to Port Augusta to serve and embrace and interact and praise and worship with, our, with, with all our um, Aboriginal sisters and brothers. And then we also have committed ourselves to this, this um, mission in the um, northern part of China and, and South Korea with the One Heart Korea Conference. And we had a vision that we will um, support these local kids in North Korea as well. It has been such a great and blessed journey together, mission journey together with all our young people and sisters and brothers in our community. Then I truly believe that our journey will be continued with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, with this sense of calling um, in one heart community. And I, I have to acknowledge that there were so many beautiful young people and um, all the people who have been part of this mission. They have shared their time, their finance, their prayers, all their different support that could make our mission journey could be fruitful. So I'd love to uh, share this extended invitation with all of you who are watching this um, film at the moment to bring yourselves to be part of this mission journey together with us. And we would love to have you with each different talent and gift. And yet, for one mission that Jesus has called us to be sent out as witnesses of this gospel movement to the end of the earth. So we welcome you all. Thank you so much for watching this film. And may God continue to bless you and your house and your families and your churches. Amen. Thank you.
What a beautiful song that reminds us that God always calls us to respond to His love. So if you are the one who hears the voice of God, who feels this strong sense of calling for uh, your mission in life, uh, with the small things to big things, I think our first baby step is more important than just imagining big mission projects. So for you and us to be able to do that, please find this link that you can share your words of uh, praise, which will be very strong and powerful spiritual support for our ongoing journey as a One Heart Mission. And if you can share with us financial blessings for our ongoing journey as a missional community. It'll be really helpful for us to receive your spiritual support and financial support. And again, um, we do have this online worship every Sundays, 4 p.m. So please join our online worship to be able to be connected with us. And that once we can gather together offline for offline worship, and we'd love to see you all joining us together for worship. Um, thank you once again for watching this and joining us. And may God bless you all. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Do you love me? Yes, I do. 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 Yes, I do.
an egg shake cup. Oh. Are you recording what? our voice? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No. <laughs> Surprise me, they're gonna do some super fast. Yeah, like that. In the morning, when I looked up at the sky, I saw the glory of heaven fill the earth. A sudden gleam of light breaks up. Risen.